Next is referential integrity and it is used to maintain the accuracy consistency of data in a regression check. In base data can be linked between two or more tables with the help of primary key and foreign key constraints. I have explained you what is primary key and constant key in my previous video. If you want to revise the concept again, just watch those videos. Why we create this relationship, how referential integrity helps you to avoid certain things. And so referential integrity can be maintained by creating a relationship between the tables. And we have three types of relationship. The very first one is one-to-one -one relationship. In this relationship, both the tables must have primary key columns. Means employee ID, you can see it has the primary key column. Similarly, the other table department, it is also having the primary key column department ID. So it is a condition for one-to-one -one relationship that both the table must have primary key columns. Now one-to-one -one relationship means, see for every row number, there is a unique, uh, there is Related portfolio ID. Row number 1 is related with portfolio ID P1. Similarly, row number 2 is having portfolio ID P2 and so on. So, this is one to one relationship. One record in parent table is associated with another record in the child table. Next is one to many. One to many means suppose this is a teacher ID a table and this is a student table. So, one teacher can teach a number of students. You can see over here, the teacher ID 103, James, he is teaching all the students of class 10. So, there could be 4 students, there could be 40 students or any number of students. So, a single teacher teaches a number of students, this is one to many relationship. Many to one, opposite. To many students, only one teacher is teaching. To many students, there is only one class teacher. So, that is many to one. Then we have last many to many. In this relationship, we should have at least three tables. So here you can see that teacher is one of the table. Then we have subject as another table. And there is one more table, sub teacher subject junction. And what is this table containing of? This table is containing one column primary key column from teacher and one primary key column from subject. And this is how these tables are related, many to many. For example, I want to see teacher Vela, which subject she is teaching. So I'll refer to, I'll see the teacher ID is 101. So I'll see the teacher ID 101 here. And the corresponding subject is, subject ID is S04. Now I'll go to subject table and I'll find out that S04 is science. So it means Vela is teaching science. This is what my need to marry relationship. Now let's see the condition for one to many relationship. In this relationship, one of the table must have primary key column. Look over here, employee ID has primary key column as employee ID. But in the second table, there is no primary key. It means at least one table should have primary key column. And it means that one column of primary key is associated with all the column in the child table. Many to many relationship in this no table has a primary key column. It means that all the columns of the primary key table are associated with all the columns of the associated table. None of the table over here is having the primary key. Now for creating the relationship between two tables one to one, what I have done, we have student table which was already there. Let's see the structure. Over here we have roll number as primary key. So I will be creating another table project ID where again roll number will be my primary key. Let's see the table over here. Project ID, I have taken Wagner because I am entering the number as well as alphabets. And roll number again in this one is my primary key. So make sure that you have the same data type and same length. All the properties should be same which should match with the uh, student roll number field. Okay. And uh, the values whatever the values you entered in your parent table that is the student one must exist uh, in the same table in your project table okay 4 5 7 11 so these roll number must exist in exist in your student table these are over here as well now for creating the relationship between the table we'll go to tools then we have relationship here we have add table dialog box so i'm going to add the table one by one after adding the table, you can close this. 
Now let's add some gap over here. Now you will link the field which are same in both the table and which field is same that is no number. So I am going to click on this and I am dragging it to another tables column roll number and this is how you can see that it has created one to one relationship. Let's see how we can delete the relationship. For deleting the relationship you just right click on this relation which is between the two table and we have delete option. Once you delete the relationship you can delete the table also. Right click and we have delete option. Click on save and then close it. Next we are going to learn one to many relationship. One to many relationship as I told you a single teacher teach all the student of the class. So I have created a table teacher. Let's see the structure. Teacher ID is the primary key and teacher name is the name of the teacher. Okay. Let's see the data over here. So I have two teachers. The ID is 101 and 102 and they are these are the data values in the T name column. Now teacher ID column I am going to add in student. So I have edited the table student. I have added the table then I have added teacher ID here and the data type number which was same in as in teacher table. After this I have also added the record for this particular column teacher ID. So I have opened it in data sheet view and I have added the teacher ID. Because I want to show you one to many relationships, so here I have added the single teachers teacher ID here. After adding the ID, I have saved the records and closed the table. Now for creating the relationship, again you will go to tools, relationship, add the table student and teacher. Now we are going to create the relationship with the same field which is teacher ID. So teacher ID to this. Now again I'm deleting this and now I'm dragging it over here. Now if I join this teacher ID with this, one single teacher is teaching number of students. It is one to many and the other was many to one. Let's see once again. I'll drag this student table. So for many students we have single teacher. Many and for many one is for one. So many to one and one to many. I hope this is clear. Why do we create this differentiality and relationship is there between the tables. So what will happen is referential integrity or relationship so that adding the record we can avoid this. Adding record to a related table if there is no associated record available in the primary key table. So suppose teacher ID 101 is there, 102 is there. If I add 104 it will prompt me that there is no value in the teacher ID table. Okay, let's do it. In teacher ID as I have added 104, it has told me that 104 is not there in the teacher's table. So it will not accept the value because 104 is not exist in teacher's table, right? So I have to enter any other value like 101 and 102. So let's do this and click on save this record. So it won't prompt me any error. Next one is if any dependent record are present in the associative table. So if I want to change any record, I can do that as well. Suppose instead of 101, I will again give 104 and I click on save. Again it will prompt me that this value does not exist. So you can't update this also. Again I am changing it to 1 and then click on save. No problem. Last one is deleting the record from the primary key table if there is any matching related records available in the associated table means if I delete teacher ID 101 we have deleted record in the student table all the records in the student table are having teacher ID as 101 so if I delete the record from teachers table it will again prompt me this is the student table it has 101 and uh, if I delete 101 from here what will happen it will again prompt me that it has associated we have the data in student one table so we can't delete it click on ok and you are not able to delete it let's see if i want to make some changes here can i do that no i can't do that even in the primary table i can't make any changes because 101 code was given in student table which is already there so you can't change it similarly i can't delete this row because again 101 is associated with others 
So when you create the relationship between the table, you can't make changes. You can't delete the record. You can't change the record because the value is associated with the other table. Now I have added another record over here and I have saved it. No problem is there for adding the record. And I can delete this also. It will not prompt me any error because this record is not associated with my student table. Now we have the advantages. Relationship help us to save the time as there is no need to enter the same data in separate table. What does it mean? See, we have the student roll number and name over here. But if I uh, have the relationship between the table, in this table, I do not have to enter the name again over here. So this saves a lot of time. And then errors also decreases. Summarize data from related table. We can fetch the data from related table. Like we can combine different tables and can have the data from number of tables. So I hope that uh, you are clear with the concept of relationship between the table, how we can add, edit and delete the data between the tables. In case you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section and tune into my channel for the coming videos. Thank you so much.